guys, welcome back to Crafting with Kay. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how I do my applique. I'm so excited to show you guys and we're just gonna jump right into the video. What you would need to do first is, of course, have your image. I purchased all of my images from Stitchtopia and I also purchased my images from Etsy. You will also need your hoop, which I'm using a five by seven hoop. You will need some stabilizer. I purchased my stabilizer from um, Amazon. You will also need some banyan spray, um, depending on what type of um, stabilizer you purchase, depends on if you need to use this or not. Also, fabric or your shirt that you're gonna use. Um, just a tip, I kept ruining shirts. So what I did was I went to like Michael's, uh, not Michael's, I'm sorry, I went to um, Joann's and I purchased like a yard of um, jersey material. Also, you would need heat bond. I purchased this big roll from um, Amazon. You would need fabric, whatever designs, whatever fabric you need to make out or stitch out your design. And I purchased my fabric from um, Joann's. And you would need some applique scissors. And you're gonna also need your thread, whatever color threads that you're using to stitch your applique. Okay, so like I mentioned before, I purchased just some fabric when I'm practicing on my designs. And I'm going to go ahead and let me just move this stuff out of the way. I don't have that much workspace. But here's my fabric and I'm going to go ahead and put my stabilizer on, spray my stabilizer on my fabric. I have a nice piece of fabric that I'm gonna put my applique on and now I'm gonna go ahead and hoop it I'm hooping it on a 5 by 7 hoop and this is the image I will be using in this project today so before you start stitching it out you want to take take a piece of your fabric And you wanna cut a big enough piece for whatever design that you're using. Um, my design is not gonna be that big. So I just need a little piece. And with these two fabrics, I already used it. So I have some scraps. So here are the fabrics that I'm gonna use. Like I mentioned before, I had some scraps. So I decided just to include this in instead of cutting a brand new piece of fabric. Um, but here's the thing I wanted to mention. Why we put the heating bond on the back of the fabric when we applique is because once you lay your fabric down and you put your first stitching around, usually you wanna go back and you wanna iron on top of it to adhese the fabric flat to your surface of what, you know, your fabric. I have a piece of fabric, but this will be your t-shirt. So you wanna put the applique down stitch your stitching you want to cut and then you want to iron it down and that's why we put the heating bond so we could kind of make it flat and flushed and neat and, and tidy against the shirt so i just wanted to mention that i don't have my iron set up so i'm going to go ahead and put it on my um heat press so you just pull this little piece of paper back and you're gonna have this shiny little um, material behind the fabric. And you can just throw this away. As you can see, I don't have any thread threaded yet because um, me particularly, I like to look, pull up the image and basically tell you the order that it's gonna start stitching in. So I wanted to make sure it wasn't gonna stitch the apple, which is red. Um, it's going to go ahead and stitch the, the, the little leaf on top, which is green. So I'm going to go ahead and thread my machine with my green thread. You just want to put your hoop on your machine, attach it to your machine. And just start your machine. Here 
here's what you have to keep in mind. You're gonna always change out um, your thread. Not, not all the time, but with applique, you're switching out your thread every time it prompts you to. So you just have to be ready for that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch my thread out. This is a teacher apple stacking image. I'm going against the grain. I'm not doing a traditional red apple. I'm gonna use this as the apple color. Um, you can put whatever colors or whatever designs you want. And that's the beauty of applique. You can make it your personal way. So I'm gonna try something different. So let's see how this comes together. So let's see, let's go. thread in what it's going to do when you start into the design it's going to first give you an outline so this is what we about to print out right now we're not going to lay the fabric down we're just going to do the outline so you can know exactly where your fabric is fabric is going to be so as you can see we have the outline so what I'm going to do is and you're going to see it I'm going to lay my fabric to make sure that it's going to be within the outline of the apple. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, since it did another outline, where my fabric is gonna be, I'm gonna go ahead and take my applique scissors and I'm gonna cut the fabric from around it. As you can see, I cut the fabric from around the um, design. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the thick stitching around it. I guess to secure it, the stitching that- um, Like make the border? Yeah, basically. Okay, so now it prompt me to do the boots that's under the apple. And so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change my thread. Okay guys, here's my image on a piece of fabric like I mentioned before. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut um, the cutaway stabilizer. I hope you guys like this video. And remember guys to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.